Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, I'm out here today to review the brand new Fimi X8 SE 2022 version two. So you're going, what? Well, this is version one right here. This is called an X8 SE 2022 version one. And this is the version two. And if I flip them around, you can see the difference. Look at version two. Tons of sensors on the bottom, even a speaker and a latch system to carry things plus a gimbal guard and uh, yeah version one well it looks pretty much like a basic old Fimi. So I tried to memorize all the features on this drone but there's too many for my tiny goldfish brain so I have them on a piece of paper here and I'm going to read them off really quick and I'll stick them up in the corner as I read them off really quick. Here we go. Number one it's foldable. Number two it has brushless motors. Number three 35 minute flight time. Number four, 10 kilometer range. Yeah, six miles. It has a sport mode. A lot of people want to know if it has a sport mode. It has a 4K camera. It can shoot up to 30 frames per second in 4K. It has an aperture of f1.6. It has a three axis camera gimbal so you can bounce it around all over the place. It can actually shoot raw DNG photos. It is rainproof. Yes, you can fly this in the rain. They say that in the instructions, which I think is insane because if you fly it in the rain, and it doesn't work anymore. Uh, I don't know if, how the warranty is for that, but anyways, somebody will tell me. For the people in the USA, it's remote ID ready. It actually has a little option in there. It says if it's windy out, it has a level eight wind resistance. It's definitely not level eight today, but it is a little breezy. Now, what else do we have? Oh, it's got landing lights on this new version. Yeah, very bright because the previous version could also film in low light, but it was kind of useless because the drone couldn't see anything. It had no lights at the bottom for landing and stabilizing, but now it does. What else do we have? We have optical flow, just like the previous version. Speaker on the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna try that out today. You can talk into your phone or you can put pre-recorded messages or just text things or write stuff and it will speak it out of this here little speaker. How loud is it? That's what I want to check out. It also has a latch system right here so you can hang things off it. So don't ask me if you can go fishing with this and carry out a fishing line because I haven't tried it. Do you see any water around me? But uh, you can hook something on there and latch it and fly and then release it all with the remote. It is SAR capable search and rescue. It has tracking. So if I wander around here, it will track me and follow me or you. In the software, it has waypoints uh, and a whole pile of autonomous flight modes. All the ones you've seen before the Fimi drones are in there. The only thing it's really lacking, honestly, is obstacle avoidance. There is utterly no obstacle detection or avoidance on this drone. So if you see a tree and you fly into that tree, it's going to fly into the tree. As far as I can tell, the controller remains the same in the previous versions. You could put an iPad mini in them. They were really decent for that or a super large phone. No restrictions there. I have to put stickers on the back and on the drone because I have so many of these Fimis. But my favorite feature is they finally, finally added a gimbal guard. Look at that thing. It's beautiful. This is what they used to put on. Look at a piece of foam. That was your gimbal guard. And so many people made fun of it that they said, OK, we'll make a gimbal guard. Now, I can tell you that batteries are identical and interchangeable. So if you have an older Fimi, well, the battery probably works in the new model. They all seem to be the same as far as I can tell. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to back this camera up and I'm going to try out the speaker system. I just want to give it a shot here, see how it works. If you can hear it outside without the motors running and then with the motors running, let's try that. All right, I have to get down low so you can see me in the video. I'm just going to show you on my phone here. You have to click on the Navi, uh, Fimi Navi 2020. That's the app that works with this, which is the same app as before. It's just been updated. Okay, my app is running. I'll put it someplace in the screen here so we can see the app. On the very bottom, you see there's a speaker. I should have an arrow pointing at it. And you see there's a latch system, like a, a little anchor or a hook coming down. That's your latch system. That's how you control it is on the bottom. Those, all those items along the bottom, like for your camera, all the settings and stuff, you just touch them and you can adjust your camera from there, which is pretty good because that's what all the pro drones have. So I just want to try out the speaker. So I'm going to touch that one. This is the cool thing you get. They call it the megaphone. So megaphone should be loud, right? So let's try it. So it says click to speak, but it says also at the top, you have instant broadcast, text to audio, audio library, real speak, uh, play once, loop your play, and it's got all these other cool things. Now I recorded something earlier at home, so I've just got to find it. Audio library. There it is. It's got the first one and I'm going to hit play and let's see what it says. Greetings, people of the planet Earth. Do you hear that? Greetings, people of the planet Earth. So if you're picking this up, you're hearing it through my little microphone here. So if that sounded loud, that's pretty good. Now you can loop that and play it over and over and over again. Greetings, people of the planet Earth. So there we go. But 
I can't find any place to make it louder. Now, obviously the speaker is touching this metal down here. So, you know, it's shooting straight into it. So let me just try that and hold it up like this. Greetings, people of the planet Earth. Sounds about the same volume to me. That's why I'm kind of wondering Greetings, how... <laughs> okay. Hello, we have to stop you now. So I'm wondering Greetings, how... <laughs> stop. So I'm wondering how loud this is going to be when I start the props. And just to show you here, you can do other stuff like text to audio. See when I type text, that's where it was written. So whatever I type in there, you can type as many as you want and you can have them play. You can also do click on here and click to speak. So if I want to speak and say something, Hey, you kids get off my lawn now. And I touch it again to stop. And, and I say something. Oh. <laughs> hey, you kids get off my lawn now. That's pretty loud what I yelled in there. So that's pretty decent. All right. So anyways, and you can loop it, have it going over and over as it's flying. All right. So I'm going to exit that. I just wanted to see how it worked and uh, let's start this up and try it and see how loud it is. Now, like all drones that cost over $300 US, you pretty much never have to do a compass calibration unless the app tells you to do one. So I've taken this out of the box. I've powered it on. I have the software. We're all linked up. I don't have to do any of these weird Wi-Fi connections or anything. It's just all connected. It's that's how it works with more pro drones. And then you just go fly, which I'm about to do now. So let me get back here so you can get me in the frame and the drone and uh, let's start it on up. See how she flies. There we go. All right, I'm gonna take it up a little bit. Hear how noisy the props are? How good is that speaker system? Let's see if we can hear anything. So I'm gonna go speaker, there we go, and I'm going to play. It looks like there's something already in the audio. There's five seconds worth. Did I say something? Hey, you kids, get off my lawn. So here, here's the sound. Hey, you kids, get off my lawn now. So I've got the audio going, but I don't find it's very loud. You can hear it, but if I get back, going hey, you kids, get off my I can still make out what it says but I don't know if somebody would make out yeah I can still make it out here let's try something it's a way over there let me try another one here let's go like this and hit stop and I'm gonna yell into my phone so maybe I control it with the volume on my phone let's try that I'm gonna hold this down testing one two three testing one two three testing one two three really loud stop that it's on loop play so here we go can you hear it I'm going to turn this up on my phone, see if it changes it. Nope, phone doesn't have any effect. All right, so if you haven't noticed, this is the video quality at 4K. You can see it here, my white legs, my white body. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. I always move around in these uh, videos just to show you what motion looks like moving back and forth. Sometimes on some camera drones, it looks kind of choppy so you can see if it looks smooth to you. There we go. All right, next thing I want to try is the latch system. So let's try that. All right, so to try out the latch system, I have this Angry Bird on fishing line. This Angry Bird weighs about 130 grams. So 130 grams of weight is what it has to lift. I don't want to do anything crazy having it lift something super heavy because what usually happens is in the wind, you get this effect going. And if it gets really bad, then your drone really has difficulty staying still. So we're going to try it with 130 grams and I have a big object so you can see it. So here we go. So the cool thing with the the latch system is it's an open and closed latch so I just hit the little switch on here to open it and it will open and then I just put this little loop in that I have on a fishing line and it hooks on and that's all good so I'm just gonna lift it up here I'm gonna have to keep it kind of low so the GoPro can kind of see it you see that circle all I do is I take this loop hopefully you can see it and I just stick it in there and when I tell it to close what's gonna happen is a little servo is gonna move an arm and it's gonna close out that uh, hole and that hole will then be our latch. All right, so <laughs> hopefully that made sense. I got my fingers all over the place. All right, so I'm looking on my little display here. I've got fishing wire everywhere, latch system, and it says lock function is not available during flight. Okay, that's good. I wanna hit unlock and it should be unlocked. And now I said, okay. And now, just wanted to make sure, I'm gonna hit lock. So little arm should come out. 
There we go. I hear it moving and there it is. It locked in place. So now when I lift up this, see my fishing wire is on. So we're ready to go. Let me take my little guy. So this is the angry bird that's going to get picked up. I'll just put it to the back here. Fishing line should be out of the way. Start up the motors. And uh, here we go. And pick up our angry bird. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully uh, my hat cab has got this. I'll bring it back so these other cameras can see this. So I got the drone. It's blown in the wind. You can see the little uh, Angry Bird blowing there. I'll bring this back. So I'll stand farther away so I get a better image of it. There you go. So no problem lifting 130 grams. So it could probably lift quite a bit. So now you want to drop the Angry Bird. Say you were over... Say you were doing search and rescue and you had food dangling below and you want to drop it to the person you're rescuing. So that's what it's used for. So here we go. Let's just take it up. There we go. Whoa, I'm in the sun. So let's move this way a bit. And uh, that looks pretty cool. And I'm going to go on the latch system on here. Touch that. And I'm going to click on unlock. And hit OK. And it should be coming down any second. There we go. Boink! <laughs> that's pretty cool. Not many drones on the planet for this price point, have a latch system. So that's pretty decent. And we're gonna do a follow tracking. So I'm just gonna put it over sideways over here, take it backwards. Click on Smart Track over here on my phone. Click on Trace. Okay, drag a rectangle around me at the target. Hit go. And the drone's there. And if I turn my back on it, I'm just gonna stare at the blue square on my screen to make sure it's tracking me. It's the only way I can make sure it's working. So you do have a tracking feature on here, which an awful lot of people would love to have because a lot of drones in this price point do not have tracking. And if you go faster, it should, I've got all sorts of stuff in my pocket, so I can't go too fast, but there we go. It's, it's got me coming around. I wouldn't call that fast, but that's, that's me going around. Just remember if you walk under trees or anything like that, it will uh, crash into the trees unless you're higher than because there's no obstacle avoidance it won't know any different so there we go so that, this has been on all fibby drones it's very common here i can look back at the drones up there very common to have and i'm going to stop that you can see when i go to smart track that they have trace which is what i just did they also have profile trace which is from the side and they also have lock they also have waypoints on here. I'm going to click on that. You have beeline, you have in-flight, you have history. So if you do waypoints, you can pull them back up. I'm not going to show you that because I've showed waypoints on this drone many times. You also have tap to fly, which is an old like DJI type thing. You tap uh, on a map and you want to go in that direction. And then when you go in that direction, you turn the camera to any angle you want. Let's try, since we're out here, let's try orbit. I'll go over here in the center of the field. So then you click orbit. That might be a problem, that, uh, that goalpost. Radius setting radius click on that okay it should start going any second and there it goes oh my mistake my mistake when i did it i left the drone pointing outward i forgot to tell it to do it inward so what it's doing is it's doing a circle but it's keeping the point of interest over there the point of interest is the water so it's doing a circle but it's always going to keep the water in frame as it circles. <laughs> okay, I did that backwards. I did that backwards. All right. So you also have these other cool modes like cinematic mode, tripod mode, course lock, fixed wing, which is fly it like an airplane. And then you have search and rescue, which I'll show you that one. Low battery. Please land ASAP to avoid damaging. Okay, my battery is getting low. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to see, uh, just let it do its own return to home. But I'm going to try the SAR thing just before that. So I'll bring it over here whiz past me there we go this thing does fly extremely fast so there we go bring the camera up on me and i'm going to do search and rescue there we go so show the drone real-time coordinates support digital zoom and there we are so say you are rescuing me look at the coordinates that are around my shoulder this thing's going up and down because it wants to go home and then you have a zoom as well i have to find the zoom on here i always lose it there it is over on the left and you can zoom in to uh, me there we go Zoom in, zoom out. Here, here, I'll get back farther so you can see my head. There we go. That's not my head. Hang on a second. Let me bring the, let me bring the gimbal up. There we go. There I am. And there's a full zoom in. On my screen, it looks pretty decent. I don't know how it looks that way. But that's the cool thing with SARS. So let me bring that back. And let's show you how to get this to go home. All right. So if you want this to go home, it's as simple as this red button here. Watch this. I'm going to flick it. That's return to home. There we go. 
So it's either going to go up or straight over there. So it's going up and then it should go back over there. So let's let it go and we're going to walk over here. All right, I'm coming up to the Angry Bird and our landing pad. Do I see a Fimi drone if I look up? Looking up, looking up. There's one way up there. Now what it's doing is looking for the landing pad because it has a feature to search for a landing pad, uh, the landing pad it took off from. So it's sitting up there looking for the landing pad and coming on down and trying to adjust itself as it comes down. All right, so there it is coming down. And let's see how accurate it is. You know, I don't think it has the landing pad because there's the landing pad, but it's not too far away. It's hovering. And it just plops itself down. And in the grass, mowing the lawn for the city. There we go. That's off. So what I'm going to do next is change this battery and I'll plop in another battery. This is the battery from the previous model. Should work just fine. Plop it in, power it on. And then I'm going to take it around and film some video, check out the transmission range and take some photos as well. And I'll show you all that now. So here we go. Going on up. All right, super quick demonstration of the five-way joystick. If I push it to the left, you'll see we have our battery voltage and all the settings for your drone. Push it to the left again, it goes away. Push it to the right, and you'll see we have our pre-flight checklist and all the settings for the drone. Push it to the right again, it goes away. Press it up, and you'll see we have our map where we are. Press it again, and it goes away. And then press it down, and this camera is gonna go down. There we go, going down, press it down again, and it comes back, press it in. You'll see all the videos and photos you've taken so far. There they are on the screen. All right, let's do a low light test. Right now it's 8.52 at night. All right, I'm gonna put on the record now and I'm gonna start up the motors. Here we go. And if we have some satellites, it should uh, stay pretty still. If not, I'll control it. There we go. So let's turn it so it sees me. And uh, there we go. Here it is. Low light. How does that look? That's low light with video. So the sun has gone down. There is no sun. This is dusk. All right, let's bring this drone over here out where there's more GPS. And bring it up a little bit. There we go. Should get a little bit more satellites there, I believe. It's going to move around a bit because it's trying to get GPS. And you can see it's got the landing lights working, they're lit up. I'm in photo mode and this is the night photo mode for taking photos at night. Here we go, snapping a photo. 
The drones are way up in the air. I'm going to try another photo now. It's a night photo. It says taken. And I'll put it up even higher and try another one. All right, here's a night photo looking over my town. I'm going to go looking down my street. Looking out over other areas. And one last photo. Now I'm switching it to video mode. Back to video. And that's what it looks like in video mode right here at night. Move the camera. So this is dust. You won't see the sun in the skyline because the sun has gone down. There we go. That's where sunset is. Right over there. Okay, bring it down and try not to crash into my chim chimney. There we go. Come on down. We're down. All right, so that was a quick demo at dusk with the sun going down. I think this is what the drone is designed for dusk because I did take some video at night and it didn't look very good. You can see it here. Yeah, it's kind of mushy because I don't think the sensor is that good for total darkness, like total blackness. But at sunset, I think it looks pretty good. You should get something usable at sunset. Now let me show you what comes in the box. This is the box your Fimi version 2 comes in. Inside the box you'll find your drone and your controller and accessories. You'll also notice that it actually has a gimbal guard as well as an optical flow sensor, landing lights and other sensors to detect the ground. There's also a new spot where you can attach an external device such as this here speaker and latch system which was included with mine. Batteries remain 3 cell 4500 milliamp hour lipo batteries and the battery charging system appears to be the same as in previous models. Spare props are included. Total takeoff weight of the drone is 822 grams. The remote controller is pretty much the same as the previous models which means that it accommodates all the large cell phones or an iPad mini. Even the button function and layout are the same. I should also mention that the cables are included for iPhones as well as Android phones. Finally, instruction manuals are included. All right, so that's my review of the Fimi X8 SE 2022 version 2 drone. I'm sure a lot of you will want to buy it. You're probably going to ask me, is it any good? A lot of people ask that even after I reviewed it and showed you everything. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. I do not find it to be something like DJI quality where everything is just, you know, so perfect and precise and the way you fly and everything else. If you're used to DJI drones, you will definitely notice a difference. However, if you've never owned a DJI drone in your life, then you will fly this and think this is the greatest thing since sliced bread because it does everything except for obstacle avoidance. The Fimi drones have always been pretty good. You get a lot of value for the price and I do not know the price on this one. I can't see it being super expensive, but anyways, the links are below. Go check it out and see if this is the drone for you. I did not show you everything this drone can do because in previous reviews of the version before this and the version before that and the version before that, I have shown everything these drones do. And this one does all of those things, plus all this cool new stuff that I showed you here. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in future videos with many more drone reviews. Until then, I say bye.